Welcome to Nisha's World. And today on Nisha's World, I will be making a blue velvet cake. I know you've heard of red velvet, but today I will be making a blue velvet cake. And also, I will be following a recipe. Okay, I will let you know step by step what you will need to do to make this blue velvet cake and the ingredients that you will need. Okay, first things first, you will need these cake pans. Alright. Three large eggs, buttermilk, cocoa powder, blue food coloring, velvet food coloring, and one third cup of cooking oil. You will also need a box of white cake mix. You can use Pillsbury, you can use Betty Crocker, whatever you would like to use, but a box of white cake mix. Also, you would need some cream cheese frosting. Okay? I'm going to use a bowl and a spoon to do my mixing. Alright, so I'm going to open up the box. And I'm going to pour the contents out of the cake box into the bowl. If you haven't already done it, you need to go ahead and preheat your oven to 325. Have that preheating while we're in the process of making our cake. Okay? So, I'm going to put the liquids in first. You, you will need one cup, one fourth cup of buttermilk. So, I'm going to use this glass. It's equivalent to a cup. And I'm going to put one cup of buttermilk in. Okay? Then I'm going to put a fourth. Okay, next I'm going to put in oil. Now, if you don't have a measuring cup, you will need to put one third cup of oil. So, if you don't have anything to measure the oil, you can use a teaspoon. You can use eight to nine teaspoons of oil to measure one third cups of oil. I've already done it, so I'm going to go ahead and put my oil into my cake mixture. All right, I'm going to mix that up. If you have a mixer, you can use a mixer. Mix everything until all of the sides and all of the bottom is mixed into the cake mixture real good. Next, you will need to add one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now, I have a teaspoon. So, two teaspoons is equivalent to one tablespoon. So, I'm going to do that now. Or you could do a teaspoon and a half of a teaspoon. Okay. I'm gonna mix that in. You wanna just keep mixing until everything is mixed in really good. All of the cocoa powders and cakes mix really good. Next, you need to add in your food coloring. You need blue food coloring and you 
need velvet food color. Now, I could not find velvet food color in the store. So what I did is I made my own. You would need to take a separate bowl and put about eight drops of red food, food coloring into the bowl and one drop of blue food color. All right? So you would need two teaspoons of the blue food color. Okay, so I have mixed up my blue food coloring into my cake mixture, okay? Also, I have took the velvet food coloring that we have made and I put a couple of drops, just a couple of drops into the mixture, okay? And so far, this is what it looks like. Now I'm about to add my three eggs. I'm going to add them one at a time. want to kind of not beat it but kind of fold it in you know just smoothly mix it so I have egg number one mixed in real good now I'm going to mix in egg number two and you guys I had to go back and, and mix in more blue food coloring I have a desired color that I want my cake to be, so you can keep adding what color blue. You can keep adding more blue so until you get the color that you would like. That cocoa powder turns the cake mix brown. So you have to kind of, you know, get mix the brown cocoa powder and the blue food coloring in real good to get the desired color you would like. Okay, about to add in egg number three. Right. Okay, so I have mixed in all three of my eggs and this is the final result. Like I said, I had to go back and add in more blue food coloring to get the desired color. I'm happy with the color it is now. Okay, so I know I was all over the place with it, so I'm going to go back over the ingredients. You'll need a box of white cake mix, cocoa powder, oil, blue food coloring, make your a velvet food coloring or buy or purchase the velvet food coloring from the store, buttermilk, three eggs. All right, so I'm about to get ready to pour my mixture into my non-stick baking pans, okay? You want to put an even amount in both or the cake will not be leveled right. Okay, so I have poured my cake mix into both of my non-stick cake pans evenly. Okay, and then you want to just kind of take your spoon, go over the top, make sure it's just kind of nice and smooth, smooth things out. Okay, now I'm about to put my cake pans in the oven for about 15 minutes, so I'll see you in 15. All right, and I'm back. All right, so I have taken my cakes out of the oven, and this is how you'll know that your cake is ready. You take a toothpick or a fork and you stick it into the cake, and if it comes back out and it's and it's clean, the fork or the toothpick is clean, that means the cake is ready. Okay, so I took my cakes out and I put them in the refrigerator for about 10 or 15 minutes so that they can cool before I put my icing on, okay? They have, they have also shrunk, as you can see. I don't know if it's because of the buttermilk or what. Alright, so I'm going to dump it. I have Pillsbury cream cheese. I'm going to put a thin layer on this top uh, piece of cake so that I won't use up all my icing.
Okay, so I have put my first layer of frosting on my first layer of cake, okay? This is what it looks like. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be cute. We won't see this part anyway. So now I'm about to take the second layer and put it on top of the first layer. So, all right, and you just keep on smoothing it out. All right, I am back. And I have fully frosted my cake, okay? Final results. Alright. Well, if you have liked today's episode of Nisha's World Blue Velvet Cake, please like, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for joining Nisha's World.